Uh, one of the biggest challenges, especially for human rights defenders, is um, that a lot of uh, businesses, instead of responding to the issues they they raise, instead would wish to instead attack uh, different uh, human rights defenders that are, are raising these issues. To not want to be a part of the campaign against. Um, corruption, where else it affects them deeply in, in their businesses. So I think it is important for business owners, for the business community in Kenya to be at the forefront of fighting uh, corruption in the country. Supporting uh, activism is a threat to the business. So you find out the most business people in the community, they are silent because there's no freedom of expression, you understand? You can be a business person, but you have the freedom, you know, for expression, you know. What happens is we normally see the company hiding behind the policing. They either, for instance, would, would, would evaporate from the scene in, in an incident where they could come in between and start negotiating with the activists or go into a conversation that would stop uh, or at least help stop the violence. In other cases, they, uh, they could actually come forth with the plans of the development, the project, whatever, more honestly and openly into the field, which would then evade a lot of the problems of mistrust, uh, maybe misunderstandings and unnecessary tensions. It is very hard for us to write articles and post it online because the government will actually pressurize all the social media tech companies to take down our posting. And our main purpose is to raise awareness on the social economic rights in our country. And it also costs us not to be able to organize protests to raise awareness against it. So it also affects our rights to freedom of public assembly. despite that you are on which political party we where you are coming from and also what you want for the new business people uh, in Zimbabwe is to come up with the good policies that promote labor rights. I think for all these tech companies that are actually already online, they could come out and say that they don't want to take down the postings. They could be more transparent. They could also tell us like who are the more prominent activists or human rights defenders that the government has been targeting. Businesses can collaborate with uh, the local population, even if it means, uh, for example, giving them uh, an opportunity to invest at uh, 5% or 10% so that it is a win-win situation for everyone. Coming out to the front is not forbidden. So they could come out and engage with, uh, with, with activists and human rights defenders. Yeah. We are protesting about something that should have them joining us in the street. At the end of the day, when they look at the bottom line, they suffer when we're suffering. When Kenyans are suffering, the businesses are suffering. When we're in the street, they should close shop and join us in the street.